the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to read over the problem sentence by sentence. Ultimately, you're going to be looking for the question mark or something that says determine. Okay, at this point, if you scroll all the way to the end, you're going to see the question mark. Then you're going to retreat back, and that is what we're going to be able to determine what we need to find. How many more days you need to remove all the way from the site from Wednesday at noon. Okay, so the biggest thing here is more and noon at Wednesday. All right, so we're trying to figure out how many days that's going to take us. So what we're going to do to determine what our given is, we're going to go through sentence by sentence and write down anything with a number in it. Okay, so sentence one, this is the total waste V total. This is the uh, subscript I made. You can do them however you want. Okay, 1425 cubic meters. Next sentence, driver works Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. with no breaks. That's an eight hour day. All right, next thing we have is the vol uh, volume of the truck. Okay, eight feet, two inches. Notice one dash is feet, two dashes is inches. Okay, I'm not going to go over that again. That's something you need to pick up on. Okay, 8 feet 2 inches, 9 feet 3 inches, 18 feet 6 inches. Okay, round trip to the dump and back takes one hour. Okay, and starts Monday at 8. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of different ways to go about doing it. This is the way that I came up doing it. Okay, this is one perk about engineering problems in math. You can do it however you want it. As long as the work is shown, I have no problem giving you the credit. Okay, so from my philosophy, what I want to do is I want to take the volume of total. I just love metric, by the way. I don't want to deal with all this. So what I want to do is I want to take standard and I want to convert it into total. Okay, in terms of what the metric is. So I'm going to start with the volume of the truck. Okay, rewrite everything. The more information you put down, the more credit I can give you. Okay, so you wrote that down from over here. Okay, what some students do is you put a decimal point, okay, between these two numbers. All right, that doesn't work because there's not 10 inches in a foot. All right, there's 12 inches in a foot. So essentially what you need to be doing is eight feet plus two over 12 feet, okay? So when you pan that out, that's gonna give you the decimal form. When you multiply up, that's gonna be cubic feet. Feet, 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 okay, that's three of them, all right? So now that's the volume of the truck in feet, okay? Now we need to use what we learned last week about converting, dimensional analysis, and take that 1397 and come over here and convert it. Okay, so now we're trying to figure out how many cubic meters that is. Okay, if we go back, okay, we draw our railroad tracks, choo-choo. Okay, next thing we do is make our road plan, okay? We have one and two, okay? We only compute in converting one type of dimension. So there's that one, okay? We start here, we're going to cubic feet, cubic inches, cubic centimeters, cubic meters, okay? What we do is we enter in just our units. Notice I put those in just in blue, okay? From the, low, from the left, is what's given to the right or unit conversions okay so once you add all that in you give this out sorry for my horrible handwriting okay but essentially you're going to put this out and you're going to get 39.57 cubic meters so now that's the volume of the truck in terms of what our metric measurement is so then it kind of wraps it up a little bit more easily down here okay so we if it starts at monday we have monday tuesday and wednesday okay those are all two full days all right, and the next thing we have is Wednesday, all right, but that only works from 8 a.m. to noon, so that's only a four-hour day. So when we look at all those different hours, we have 20 hours totaled up, total up, okay? Well, if there is one hour a trip, that means that gives us 20 trips, okay? So if we have 20 trips and the volume of our truck is 39.57 cubic meters, we found out from here, that gives us a total of that much waste we've been able to move since Monday. Okay, well, we know the volume total is this. Okay, so we subtract then what we have moved. So at noon on Wednesday, we have 633.26 cubic meters left. Okay, but when you decide that how many more truckloads that's going to take, that's going to take 16 trips. What you're going to realize is like back calculate these problems. So if it's like 16.0000, that's 16. Or 15.99999, that's 16, okay? I'm not gonna kill you with the rounding thing. Just get it close if it's coming. Now, 16.2, 16.1, that's a little bit different, okay? But we have 16 trips, okay? We know that we have eight trips in one day. Thank you. We have eight trips in one day, and so that's a total of two days. So, that is how we get from fine to given to our solutions, and then boxed your answer at the end. That can't be more important, okay?